The Orient Express and the route it takes from Istanbul east to west is a, is a, a wondrous one, and to feel the miles under you as you travel is incredible. And Agatha Christie invites the audience to do the same thing and to have some fun with a Poirot who's on holiday. So he's a little lighter hearted at the beginning of the story, but uh, in a way that he has not encountered, she puts him in, 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 in front of what he characterizes as evil on this train. When we walked into that the huge sound stage and the entire interior of Istanbul station has been recreated, it is completely breathtaking. The detail and the craftsmanship that has gone into all of it is unbelievable. And my very first day of filming was um, filming inside one of the train carriages, and it was just. Uh, it's, as I said, completely breathtaking. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I've never been on any set like it. What's so great about Ken is he comes from it with the perspective of being one of us. He's an actor, first and foremost. That's how he started. And so he understands what goes on up here, uh, the questions that we ask, the insecurities that we may have. And he is able to speak to those questions with the authority of somebody who's been in our shoes. Still legible in places, and the maths do not tally. It is full of... The English part for the chocolate. Fudge? Exactly, the fudge! You have been stealing from it! You know, when actors are asked about other actors, they're always going to say nice things. <laughs> but trust me, this is a very good group. And, and I think it's a testament to Ken's direction and organization and how the production has been run that um, it's a group that really gets along together. And since it's an ensemble piece, there's a lot of time where you're around people, supporting other people, and you're, I wouldn't say, um, marginal in the scene, but you're not, you're not doing the heavy lifting. And that's true of almost all the characters, with the exception of Poirot. So you need a certain kind of patience and a certain kind of willingness to support. Uh, so no room for prima donnas. And uh, in this group, there were really none. It's been wonderful because getting to know each other, getting to work with each other, trust each other, have fun with each other, that's another of Ken's great, great gifts. He allows his companies to have fun. Be serious, do it properly, but don't angst yourself to death.